Yeah, so Jessica, this just came in just a couple of minutes ago, and there is a significant change. We'll get to that in a second. First up, though, I want you to take a look. This is Hurricane Irma, as you see it on the Vortex satellite and radar, and we want to show you the latest stats. Those have changed a bit. You can see it there. So it's got uh, the sustained winds are 120 miles per hour. That's down from 125 miles per hour a little bit earlier. Also, now we're looking at the movement northwest at six miles per hour. It was moving at seven miles per hour, so it slowed down just a bit. And right now, the center of circulation is 90 miles southeast of Key West, Florida. So obviously, it is getting a little closer. Want to take a look at the track now. So let's go over here to the big screen. We'll take a look at the track. You can see a category three. And now this is what's different. One of the things that's different, it remains, at least according to this update, a category three, still a major hurricane, but not a category four as it makes landfall in the Florida Keys early tomorrow morning. As we continue on, still a category three as it makes its second landfall uh, along Florida's west coast and then remaining a major hurricane through almost the entire state of Florida before weakening to a category one and then finally a remnant low. One thing we want to continue to point out is that the impacts of this storm will be felt outside of this cone. So you want to keep that in mind if you have loved ones uh, in this area. Let's go ahead and take a look. We also want to show you this. This is some landfall impact information. We're basically expecting it between two and eight o'clock on Sunday morning. The winds will be catastrophic. We're also talking about rainfall. 10 to 15 inches. Some areas could see 25 inches. And that storm surge, 8 to 12 feet. We'll have more coming up in just a bit. But for now, Jessica, I'll send it back to you. All right. A lot of good information. Elise, thank you.